Hi guys, today we are going to understand a very important sum and its technique from the chapter in our trigonometric functions. Which it is a very important sum for HSC boards exam. And I am going to tell you a, a method, a technique which is very important considering uh, this HSC boards exam which comes for 4 marks. Yeah. Now let us see the sum. The sum says we need to prove sine inverse 8 by 17 plus sine inverse 3 by 5 is equal to sine inverse 77 by 85. We are going to do this sum with a very very basic method. Let us first try and understand how to proceed further. Let me say sine inverse 8 by 17 is equal to theta 1. Therefore, sine theta 1 would be equal to 8 by 17. Let me draw a triangle. This is a triangle. Over here, let me say this is theta 1. This is 90 degree. Sine is opposite upon hypotenuse. Solving it by Pythagoras, we will get this as 15. So what will be cos theta 1? So cos theta 1 will be 15 upon 17. Now similarly we will have sin inverse sin inverse 3 by 5 is equal to theta 2. Therefore sin theta 2 will be equal to 3 by 5. Let us draw a triangle. This is our triangle and this is theta 2. This is perpendicular. Sin is opposite by hypotenuse. Therefore, this will be 4. So, cos theta 2 will be equal to adjacent by hypotenuse which will be equal to 4 by 5. Now, let us go back to the sum. The sum says we need to prove sin inverse 8 by 17 plus sin inverse 3 by 5 is equal to sin inverse 77 by 85. We have assumed this as theta 1 and this as theta 2. If you check out the right hand side, it is sin inverse of 77 by 85. So I will deliberately take sin of theta 1 plus theta 2. Suppose this was cos inverse, then I would have taken cos of theta 1 plus theta 2. So simple the technique is. So what I'll do is I'll take sin of theta 1 plus theta 2. What it is? It is sin theta 1 cos theta 2 plus cos theta 1 sin theta 2. Now we need to just put in the values. What was sin theta 1? It was simply 8 by 17. Cos theta 2 was 4 by 5. Cos theta 1 is 15 by 17. And sin theta 2 was 3 by 5. All these values are taken from here and here. Now what we will do is we will just simplify this expression. Now simplifying this expression is very easy. 32 by 85 and 45 by 85 which is nothing but 77 by 85. So sine of theta 1 plus theta 2 is equal to 77 by 85. Therefore we can say theta 1 plus theta 2 is equal to sine inverse of 77 by 85 but Theta 1 is equal to sine inverse of 8 by 17 and theta 2 is equal to sine inverse of 3 by 5. Therefore, sine inverse of 8 by 17 plus sine inverse of 3 by 5 is equal to sine inverse of 77 by 85 and hence we have proved it. So let us summarize this method once. What do we do in this method is we will be asked a question something like this sine inverse of something plus sine inverse of something is equal to sine inverse of something. We assumed this as theta 1. 
this as theta 2 and the right hand side could be anything like sin inverse, cos inverse. So we assume sin of theta 1 plus theta 2 or cos of theta 1 plus theta 2 based on the question that is asked. After that we draw the two triangles sin inverse of something equal to theta 1 we get sin theta 1 cos theta 1 and similarly for theta 2 we do the same procedure then we use the compound angle formula and we get our final answer. So this is how such an important question carrying many marks for example 4 marks can be solved very easily. Thank you for watching the video guys.